Joint pain. As we get a little bit older, joint pain and injury can be an absolute pain in the butt when it comes to you and I working on our fitness stuff. It can be, it can be a setback. It can, it can just literally make you feel like you just don't belong doing the things that you need to do that you know that you need to do in order to get yourself better at the things you do. So there's good news. There are ways that you can work around it. So things like, you know, joint pain is chronic pain, pain due to injury, it's making it difficult for you to perform, to get up, to get down, to pick up the grandkids, to play, to do whatever. It limits your ability in the training program. It limits you to be able to do what you need to do. It reduces your mobility, your flexibility, and therefore you have this fear in the back of the head back here that it's going to get worse if you keep going. Negatively, it's frustrating. It annoys the crap out of us. Nothing worse than, you know, throwing the back out when you know you want to do a deadlift this week. It's disappointing and after a while, you've got that other fear that you're, gonna, you're no longer going to make progress. But there are benefits. Things like good joint health. Things like reduced pain. Improving that mobility and flexibility and all those illity stuff that they talk to you about. One solution that I've got for you today is you can potentially work with a personal trainer or a coach or someone who's experienced in the stuff that's happening to you. Now, what I mean by that, and I'm going to have a bit of a dig here, it's not the 22-year-old who's just come straight out of university or college or done whatever or done the cert three and four and thinks that they know the fucking world. It ain't that type of person. It's the person who's got the experience, the hands-on, who's been down there deep in the trenches. Yeah, and I can say me, but at the end of the day, it's someone that you know that's going to work with you too. Someone that's going to help you create a plan that is specific to you, to take in your current situation, your current capabilities. I'm not going to say limitations, but just where are you today? What can you and can't you do? And let's focus on the can and move forward. Build some strength and in time your mobility will come back. Get a bit stronger. You'll put on a little bit more lean muscle mass. Metabolism might come back. Another solution is maybe is low impact. Now, I'm not necessarily advocating everyone go out and become Obi-Wan Kenobi and do yoga and downward dogs and bits and pieces. Simple mobility training is strength training. It is doing that stuff. Whether it's the McGill Big Three for the back or whether it's range of motion in your ankle, your knees over toes, go whatever. But go out and work on your mobility. See, all of that stuff will help improve things like the joints, the ligaments and tendons and overall health. And over time, you will get better. Addressing joint pain and injury is frustrating. All right? I've been there myself. It annoys the crap out of you. But when you do, it overall improves the quality. The quality of life, the quality of your ability to do stuff, get up, move. And as I've said before, you don't want to slip, trip, and break a damn hip. Don't let it hold you back. Take action on it. Knee pain, back pain, shoulder pain, whatever pain, pain in the ass, either way. Do not let joint pain lead to more injury. Go out and get some. Try today, start. And in my book, I've got one philosophy. I like to say, get strong first before all the other things come.